Hello, I'd like to welcome one and welcome all back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. Well, today I want to show that I did do these levels and they were significantly easier than the soaked expansion pack level. So I'm just going to show these off so you know what I've been doing. La La Land is not as difficult as I thought. The finances you start with are just an amazing way of getting things set up. Uh, the VIPs are easy to please. But maybe I just did it just the right way. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Well, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing fine. Doing good is okay. I gotta write my presentation script and practice it. Because the presentation itself is almost ready. And then I can give it tomorrow, and that gives me an extra three points. And when I have those extra three points, all I need is a six points for my project, and I pretty much get a fancy document saying, you're, you're a smart person when it comes to computer bullshit. Anyway, uh, yeah, I never, never thought I'd read this. But yeah, um, the roller coaster of Excitement 3, you see I got two coasters, I got this one. The little beast, which has a good excitement rating. It really does drag the crowd. Then we've got to escape from planet Earth, which is an attraction that I really like. Um, because it's nice and smooth and simple to place. And as you can see, there's some adventure theme here. You can look at the map if you want to. As you can see, there's a very strong presence of adventure. And uh, Park value is not that difficult. As you can see, my park value is way over what I need. Um, we're only two years in, so... Maybe I could potentially play the older Roller Coaster Tycoon games and beat them. Like, I think the main reason those games were hard is because they didn't understand how things function. Because I was too dumb and I was a little idiot and that game is pretty complex. All things considered. Uh, so yeah, we got that. Uh, mix Master Display. I do have a Mix Master Display. Uh, it's right over here. It's nothing too cool, but it, it's, it's something I had to do. It costs 9 euros. And Bush Clinton says it was amazing. It's not bad. Like, I could have done much more and made it an actual thing, but no. It's enough. I could have placed it in the volcano or something. That would have been cool. Oh, regrets of... Yeah, oh, man, I... I, 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 I just... I should have done that. I should have put, like, one, like, right here. But that one is so cool. But I didn't have the volcano when I put it down. Like, I put this down at the beginning. As you can see, people are just lining up for my attractions. I don't even have that many. Like, I think I put this thing down because I was like, eh, I want something else. And this thing looks really cool in the position it's in. Gotta watch out for that Helter Skelter. And this one's like, whoa, man. Like, I slammed as much on it as I could. I don't care if it's got stuck with its restraints open. That's not my... Ooh, look, it's a brown elephant. Now, Mountain Rescue was a level that kind of bothered me a bit. Like, it had me thinking a few times. And I was like, mm, I gotta do this and I gotta do this. But this is kind of difficult. So what I decided to do is I decided to cheese the system. And basically make a custom coaster that's completely ridiculous. It doesn't have a name, though. Uh, so this is a, is a park that's all about building the best and fanciest of all coasters possible. I'm not going to do the entrepreneur level, which I, I, I'm not going to show it. I'm going to show it off. That's all I'm going to do. Um, so this level was easy. It wasn't too hard. Like, the guests come automatically. I have three coasters, each with a movement speed of 31. Uh, altitude is, like, a problem that I think I fixed by just adding more of this. No, 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 no. This park, this one didn't have the altitude. So I just elongated this section and it says, okay, that's okay, you can have it now. That's pretty cool uh, that you can cheese it like that. Uh, this was also the first coaster I built. As you can see, there's a large pathway going from one side to the other. There's a pool in the middle that I really like how it's put there. Um, people don't like it because this is a bit of a wet park, so to speak. And there's a Ferris wheel, there's a giant Ferris wheel, and this is my crazy discombobulating contraption. Um... I needed something that could manage the fact that it was going this fast. 
So what I basically did is make the craziest piece of shit I could design, put a photo stand at the end of it, <laughs> and then just make it go up until it stopped moving too fast. Uh, this was a pretty... I like this design. It just makes my gut twirl as I look at it, though. That's one problem. It is a nice attraction, though. All things considered, it could easily be built on the a near a hillside because of how it's constructed. Problem is, like every attraction I ever built, it has a massive intensity. Thing is, it does have a higher excitement rating than most attractions I see. So I'm quite proud that I finally made an attraction that's more exciting than five that isn't incredibly intense too. I think the main problem is the fact that people go up here. Like this is the main part. Let's actually look at the test results. Uh, where do we see that? Let's see we go. Uh, I think lateral G is what we're looking for. Can we do it again? I want to see it again. Like this is how you actually properly build a custom coaster. You're like, okay, so let's now let's analyze the results. Like, um, vertical G typically causes nausea. Uh, lateral G causes intensity. Okay, so this is really the problem, that corkscrew is, like, intertwining people's intestines. Yeah, that corkscrew is, like, the main reason this attraction is so intense. Let's look at vertical G. So, the vertical G is... Yeah, I could imagine this part's gonna make people nauseous. Uh, let's look at the speed. Oh, man, it takes, it takes a dip. But I like it, it's a good attraction. In my intention, it does what it's supposed to do. It's right next to my, uh, my zipper. But now let's go to the Park of Hell. It's only be four years. But that's two and four years. Um, Soaked Level 3 is the level from hell. Lost Atlantis is the level from hell. You're not told what to do with it, but it's the level from hell. It took me 12 years, 1,400 guests... And a whopping insane amount of attractions. I don't know why. For some reason, people in this park just walk in the park. They don't go places. They don't go on attractions. They don't purchase at your stalls. They just walk in the park. In a straight line, ignoring every attraction. Maybe going to your pool, but most people are not on attractions. They're just walking around, being assholes to you. I want you to look at this. I closed my pool so I could meet the demands despite having almost 1,500 guests. I had to close my park multiple times because people were cluttering up the system by not meeting up with their group for whatever reason. People were lost all over the place. This park is incredibly glitchy and a pain in the ass to work with. I reiterate myself. I had to close the pool, which only held about two, three hundred people. So people would- Look at all these queues! Where the fuck are all of my guests? Where are my fucking guests? Tell me that. I have 1,500 people in my park. Where are those 1,500 people? Let's check my guest list. By the way, I discovered how to see if people are thirsty. This is really useful. Uh oh, it's a teenage gang. And this is the problem. Everyone is meeting with group. The vast majority of people is waiting for their groups to get done. I, I like the one in the other game more though. I want to go home. I'm going to look at those people.
Oh, those are people actually going home. But anyway, this park sucks a fat fucking dick. I don't care if you cheat. Look at that. I only got it. Just fuck this. Fuck this park. Toss it down the deepest pits of hell and never look back. I don't know why, but I'm a little bit iffy on talking. My neck hurts. I don't know what it is. I'm so glad I managed to get past that park. Because everyone's doing nothing. Oh, fuck. I just... No! What the hell? How do I... Okay, there you go. We gotta get guests. Why do we need... Why do we need fucking coasters? Well, at least I don't have a lo... Oh, I have a lawn. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we need a swimming pool. We need a good park rating. We need just a good amount of guests, but it doesn't seem too difficult in and of itself. So where can I build? Like, what's my park area? Oh, by the way, this park is the strangest entrance ever. People just materialize into your park. Okay, so we got a good bit of land available to us. Hmm. What attractions do I have? I think I just have that coaster. Okay, so it provides me with one, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Doors, doors, sketch it doors, hair free doors, big doors, small doors, big doors, big doors, big doors, big doors, big doors. Is that man solely offering me big doors? This is gonna be actually kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, there's a mechanic already there. Look at that guy. That guy deserves a fucking medal for his for his handiwork. Good, we have some of those. Now let's focus on a few. It's spooky pie! And it's spooky shakes! Do I have an information stand? I should get an information stand. Oh, I cannot afford that transaction. That's okay.
It's a spooky wheel. I just love saying spooky. Man, with all this extra cash, I can put down a few more attractions. Spooky attractions. Of course, putting down an extra bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, my throat is really kind of iffy today. Ba -ba 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 -ba, people are all loving it. Money, 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 money. Bumper boats, that's always fun. Oh man, that's some spooky garbage. So apparently benches and seats help people calm down from their vomiting needs. Passport machine. I know what that's good for, but I have one. Let's also get some spooky benches. Yay, yay. Let's go focus on that coaster for a bit. It only needs to be 160 long. Oh, I always love a good Heartline coaster. Uh, time warp's long. It's not very exciting, though. Tricky twist. Tw 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 twicky. What the f What is Twicky? Huh. Oh, my throat's like, ugh, I need to drink. <sighs> Man, no, this was too expensive, and also a little bit too long for what I just need. Okay, we got like said, trading. 
Indian colonial roof street and two mon meter man that's exactly what I needed for this part to end up looking nice why are those things so weirdly specific I think I'm gonna go for a long walk today that thing that's exactly what I need Expensive. I don't have any money. Any money, money, money. Why is that locked? Well, of course they're having problem getting there. There's only there's no pathing. Oh, no, I wasn't looking at this. I was looking for coasters. So the business, this is the only one I can afford, slash, take. Hmm. I think 4,000 big ones a bit of much, but, you know. take much Insane. I want to pay off my old loan first. <laughs> Sorry, great. Consider placing more food stalls. Are you insane? Do you have any idea how much money it costs to put down a food stall? I need to talk to shareholders, I need to have a board meeting, I can't just put down another food stall. This man is offering some wacky advice, like he does not know what it's like to work in this industry. What's our next objective? A total monthly ride income of 800. I say, thou shall selleth pumpkins as one of selleth pieth. Yeah! Sell all the pumpkin pies. Sell them all! Oh no! We don't sell enough pies. Rotor one just had to make an emergency stop. a spooky wheel.
Hmm. Hmm. Custom stall with built. I don't care unless it's a custom stall with rotating billboard. I want a rotating, rotating. One that spins and dings and goes buzzing. Just never enough to use it. People, I see that yet. People, I According to you, people are too everything. There are too much people. Do you think I care? Do you think I care about your spooky ideas? Really, a giant ferris wheel is what you give me? I wonder if that's gonna work out. I remember Mario go rounds and the other one could go like crazy and they'd start moving very fast. It does not intersect with another object, you're just being a blind man. Crooked house. What has that house ever deserved done to deserve being called crooked? Doubt deadeth to jesteth with the life of a manneth? I hate the fact that I have to straighten up the land some places.
to be this one's just not yeah it's just not connected again because this landscape is fucking disastrous I don't like this eh? I'm sorry if I'm not talking much and if you came in like oh I want to have a chat I'm sorry to disappoint you but it's just that I have problems with my throat and most of this is just uh, you know as a hobby it's just to relax to sit back, have a blast, have a drink, have a pizza, some chicken, maybe some Rosby, you know. Just having a wonderful time. Actually, I have a special job for you, Mr. Juan Etor. Yeah, he's cleaning up my places in the summer. Oh, look at that cleaning. Look at that guy. He's got the skill demons. That place looks like ass. But he can do it. If he just believes in himself. He will succeed in me. Yes, keep cleaning, keep cleaning, keep cleaning. You are an amazing individual. Janitor 3. Your name shall sound from every mountain top. Janitor 3. The man who cleans the uncleansiest of places. Man of coordination, sophistication, annihilation. Sweep, 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 sweep. Whoa, those places are very, very dirty. Now that my park has had a little bit of a clean. Get back where you belong. Janice 3. And where the skull suit. All shall revere thy name. Cool, my park's reliable. Do 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 do. I just paid off my dumbass loan. Let's continue on. I'm accident prone. Doors, doors, get your doors here. Open doors, close doors, lock doors, unlock doors. Get your doors here. Who doesn't like a good old-fashioned opened and closed door? It goes very far. That's really all I have to advertise. It's a door. What do you want me to do? I can't sell a door like this. Not under these circumstances. Door selling is an unforgiving business, my friend. Are you sure you have the endurance to last? <laughs> Tall doors, thin doors, thick doors, wooden doors, steel doors, iron doors, metal doors, non doors, anti doors. Words, words, get your words here. But I don't want words. Oh, uh, what does this do? Okay, they already are. That was quick. Long doors, short doors, tall doors, thick doors. 
Maybe I'm not interested in investing in your doors. <gasps> this man denies the door god his door money. Honestly, like, exactly what are we trying to do here again? Build like a gentle attraction here, like the crooked house looks fun. Did someone just say, Who the fuck is that guy? And why is he constantly going, Oh no! Who are you? Why are you tampering with my existence? this international man of mystery why have I never heard of him oh no I think open heart surgery is less complicated than this. I didn't expect that. Anyway, Mr. Juan Itor has done an excellent job cleaning up the cleanables. So let's see what our big man wants. He wants a little bit of a swimming pool. He wants to see the swimming pool. There he goes, my friend. I'm swimming pool. But since I need to keep my park rating up, I guess I need to hire some extra people to clean up these places. a little bit less though. You're not Juan Itor! Who am I holding? 
Oh, it's a guy just tired, I guess. One eat or what do I have to do? Why is nobody on my queues? I get the strange sensation that sometimes guests just stop functioning correctly and they just walk around for a bit. Like they're not going anywhere, they're just walking around having such a good time. They're having the ball. My throat feels a bit better too. Which I guess is a good thing. It's not that chilly. It's 16 degrees, man. You're just being a puss. Toffee apples! Man! Mr. Ono back. The bow of the battleships. Oh no! Is back. And he must be exterminated at the root. <laughs> Only I could figure out who he wants! Look at that man! Not a stuff on my floor. Excuse me, but I make a mess. It just pisses me off with that annoying little voice of his. I want to drown him and gut him, smear his organs on the wall and make him watch, and then slowly cut out his eyes. And maybe if I feel polite, I might just take to two kicks in the groin. <sighs> Triangles! They're fun. They're the sturdiest shape in the world, to a degree. As in a triangle, like a square can shift. You can shift the ribs and it will like move but a triangle you cannot move any of the legs or limbs without the like the triangle is already the optimized pathing between three points for all intents and purposes there is no way to make a triangle smaller or more triangular which is what makes it such a powerful shape also this thing's going the wrong way is it because it's going in reverse it's magic I tell you Stop me now, I'm having such a good time, I'm having six balls, but only six. Someone just emptied the trash can. No, 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 no. I'm not going. I 
July has some empty bins. Oh yeah, we won. Let's go check out the next level. The Fountain of Youth! The mystical fountain of youth has tranquil hidden woods a golden opportunity to rejuvenate your finances if you can overcome the wrinkles that stand in your way. Aroma... Oh, they're all kids, I get it. Ha 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 ha, great joke. Let's see. Really? I, I, how the hell do you build a ro Oh, I think I get what's going on. I think I see what's going on in this park, and I remember this park. Actually, I liked this park. If I have to be honest, this is a really nice park to play with. Um, let's see. A roller coaster of six. I want to keep my park clean. I want that regardless. I need a park rating. Um, I need an exciting water slide. There's a whole bunch I need to do. Oh, look, they put, like, a little, uh, laser beam on top. That's cool. So, in case you're... Okay, let's, let's actually see what my... I think... Would my guest list reflect that? It doesn't reflect that very much. Um, so this park is kind of strange, because the building rights you have are incredibly convoluted. Like, as you can see, we own everything around, and we own small sections inside. Like, we only own, like, this piece and that piece. But we don't own anything, like, here and there. We don't own anything in the water. We just own this very, very limited piece. We got, oh, we got some... How the hell do we build that? We don't even own... Like, how do you build that? Like, what did they do to do that? That, that, that can't be true. Um, we don't get an entry fee. What's our finance standing? Oh, the finances are looking great. This is over here? Oh, it's just a cactus. So, we need to build our park on the outskirts, which is a really nice idea. I, I love this park in, in, its, in its ideas and execution. It's a fantastically put-together idea. Um, you can clearly see, though, how this works. So we need a swimming pool. Um, I prefer to work with just one road for now. Let's pick a good one. Uh, this one has a good bit of this gives us this one has a good piece of land. The fun fact is, because you own this piece of land, you could theoretically just build a coaster that goes from one side to the other. Which would be pretty fucking A or A baller. Let's see, can I manipulate the landscape? I cannot landscape, I knew that. I remember that from long, long, long ago, from land before time. How we know it exists, we don't. We just kind of made a guess and said, yay, when it turned out to be true. Hollowing, billowing. Let's actually focus on some smaller attractions for time being. Oh, that's so cool! 
Can I initiate them myself? That's just some water jets. But how do they do that? Oh, so they're just combining two images. Oh yeah, there's two lasers, so that's... Oh, that's pretty neat. So this is going to be a fun park for me to fuck around with. Um, I do need that one coaster with an excitement rating of 3, 4, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! I think a pool would do well over here-ish. So I'll probably see you guys next time. This is gonna be a blast. I already smell the money flowing into my pockets. Ah, fresh money. Nothing makes an amusement park worth more than money. And an excitement. Cool lady. This guy's silly. He wants to visit the swimming pool, right? Well, he can visit the swimming pool. Oh, he's already going there. That's good. Bye! I figure the main reason they don't let you landscape is because of the laser show. Because of how this functions. If they let you landscape, then this would be ruined. Or it might just be the fact that you can build something pretty f straight. Like, they want to keep the, the fountain intact, so they said no. Oh look! I didn't expect that. But, it happened. Sweet.